So you purchase some Canva templates like the ones I have in my shop and you want to know how do you customize them so that it fits your branding with your colors, your fonts, and your photos. Now there is a really quick way to this using Canva Pro and I'm going to show you all the ways that you're going to be able to implement your branding into your templates quickly and easily so it saves you time, you have more consistency in your branding, and you look really good. Okay, let's go into Canva. So if you purchase my templates, you'll get a document and this document has links in it. So either if you want the, the square graphics or the vertical graphics, both of them, you're going to want to click. So once you click on them, you're going to see this screen from a Canva and that's going to say a template has been created for you. Start designing now. We're going to say edit template. Now what this is also doing is copying this entire file into your Canva account. So now anytime you are going into Canva, this, uh, this document will be there. Now you can use this file as a template and just copy them every time you want to do new ones. Or if you have Canva Pro, you can set these as brand templates so that they are already in a template-ish format and then you can call on them when you need them. If you do not have Canva Pro and you are a business owner, which means you need to have marketing material, design material, and you do not have Canva Pro yet, I do not understand why. Because literally, Canva Pro is only like $12 a month. And back in my day when I had to have design software, Photoshop, and Illustrator were very expensive. They've become much more affordable these days. But back in the day when I started, I spent thousands of dollars on design software. And nowadays when it's only $12 a month, it's a no brainer. So I'm going to show you how to do both. If you have the free version of Canva and if you have the pro version of Canva, if you have the free version of Canva, you're going to have to edit these individually. So you're going to click on the graphic that you want to change. Let's say, for instance, this first one, there is a color over the graphics so that it can match your branding. So if you see this is a black color, and if you wanted to change it to say a blue color or a gray color or a white color, you can do that as well. Let's leave it as black for now. If you're a business, also have a collection of photos that match your branding. So whether it's stock photos, which you can have stock photos that match your branding or your personal branding photos, have a folder in Canva that has all of your branding photos in them. So see, I have my branding photos. I have a branding photos folder. If you click on images, you'll see all of my professional branding photos and then some of the stock photos that I use that match my branding with my website designs and all of that. So I definitely recommend that you have a collection of all of your branding photos that match your brand in a folder so you can call on them easily. If you do not have any branding photos yet, obviously go to elements, go to photos, and you can search up stock photos like woman on laptop, see all photos and then choose from here. Obviously the pro ones are the ones with the crown on them. You get all of these stock photos included when you have a pro account. So again, another reason why to have the pro account is it includes stock photography. So you don't have to have to have a separate stock photography subscription like I do on several websites. <laughs> So like I said, you could just drag a photo in and if you wanted to adjust it so it was in a specific spot, then move that top layer back over. This is for your logo. Again, when you have Canva Pro, you have access to a folder that's specific with all of your logos in it. So you can just drag that in there and then your logo is in it. Obviously change out the font as well. So the font that's in it, you can choose from the free versions of the fonts, but there are also pro fonts as you're scrolling through Canva. And you also have the option to upload fonts when you have pro. So you can see I have uploaded a bunch of fonts. So if you have 
branding fonts that are specific to you, you can upload them and use them in Canva. Another one that also has a color overlay over the image, one this just enforces that coloring for your branding, but also allows you to use stock photography that might not match. And so this way it guarantees that the stock photography will match your branding because we've colorized it. Also some textures added into your branding is great. So this is a texture and if you want to know how to find cool background textures, you can search on the stock photography inside of Canva. Just search up a specific texture. So if you like geometric shapes, if you like boho, if you like modern farmhouse, anything that you can think of, we'll say geometric background and you can say white, you can even say the color, so that it makes sure you have like a light background. So see this one has an interesting, oh, that ended up being way too light. So see the transparency is on here as well. If it looks too light, check the transparency. So see now it looks, it sh shows up much better. I don't know, we'll, we'll go back to the original. If you're scrolling through these stock photos and you're like, I still am not finding imagery that I like, there are other stock photography websites. I really like creativemarket.com, shutterstock.com. Those are just a few. Unsplash.com is a free one. Pexels.com is a free one. And I have all of these resources on my website for you to look at on sharonmarta.com. If you'd like to see all of the resources that I use for photography, fonts, all of that just to give you a little bit more option. This is for people who like to do the DIY route. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to do this the super simple way if you have Canva Pro. So if you have Canva Pro, you'll see this little icon up on the left that says brand. Click on that and it will have a button there to help you set up your brand kit. So your colors, your fonts, your logos. It even has brand voice in here. And I'll move my, my picture. Um, your photos, any graphics or icons. I don't have any right now, but all of this can be filled out so it's super easy to access. I'm telling you, when you have really easy access to this, it makes designing so much faster and easier and less stress when you're having to hunt around for everything. So I love that Canva makes this super simple and easy to access. Once you have all of that set up, you're gonna go back up to design and usually it's defaulted to templates. There's one more section to the right of that that's called styles. Now, if you wanna use their color combinations, you can, they're just not your brand. Your brand kit will show up at the top if you already have all of this entered in. So I'm gonna show you how this works. So we're just gonna click on brand fonts and automatically changes to my brand font. Now, if you wanted to change all of them, you need to click the bottom button that says apply to all pages, and then it will apply to all pages. Same with brand colors. We're gonna click on brand colors. Now, if you initially don't like the color combination that it chose, you can hit the arrows and it will cycle through all of your brand colors until you like the color combination that it comes up with. And then again, you can hit apply to all pages and it will apply to all the pages. You can see all the pictures. If you don't have Canva Pro, you just don't have access to using your specific color palettes and your specific fonts. So if you wanted to use generic ones, you can see some of their generic ones that they have. Canva just has a lot of great features about it. I am a designer who is a fan of Canva because anything that makes things easier and faster to use, I'm a fan of. If you would like my templates that I have over on my website, feel free to go to SharonMarta.com and download the square and vertical versions of the social media graphics that I have. I hope this helps you with any Canva templates that you purchase. Let me know if you have any questions and happy designing.